Hey everyone, today we are at the Washington State Fair. Um, it's actually the last day that the fair is open and it's really cool that I get to be here because it's usually only open for a couple weeks a year and so most likely you won't be able to come here if you do want to or if you do want to come here you're gonna have to wait till next year and just figure out when it's gonna be open. But either way they have some coasters here and there's some really rare cred uh, credits for the reason that I obviously just stated because um, this park's only open for a couple weeks a year so I'm super excited to get in there especially you know on the classic coaster their classic wooden coaster and sorry if I'm a little low energy I'm pretty tired I've just been traveling for like three days now but I'm excited to get into the park uh, I'm gonna get an unlimited ride wristband hopefully so it should be a fun time here glad that I was able to make it on my way up north and um, yeah I'm gonna get in the park I'll see you guys once we're in there all right guys I kind of got trolled um, online it said you get an unlimited uh, rides wristband but today they said they aren't doing those since it's the last day I don't know if they're out or what but I had to get regular tickets so I, I got enough for about I think like 10 rides so we should be able to obviously get on everything at least once but obviously it's a bummer I wanted to like spend the whole day here and just ride as much as I wanted but that can't happen but I'll just ride everything once and then decide what I want to use the rest of my tickets on but um, normally I'm not a flat ride guy but since I'm at the fair they have a couple really good flats here actually zipper is like my favorite flat ride ever and it's super rare and they have one here but anyway I don't know what we're doing first but I'll see you guys once we get to the first coaster all right guys looks like classic coaster is gonna be first up for us I just saw it running with people on it I've been here for like 30 or 40 minutes and not all the rides open right away but that's fine anyway we're gonna go get on the classic wooden coaster I'm excited I'll see you guys afterwards Classic coaster, a classic wooden coaster, of course, an ace landmark as well. And it has buzz bars, so this should be fun. I love me some good buzz bars. Oh crap. Here we go. classic coaster and that was great man um not the most forceful ever but there was a couple good airtime pops i think it might be better in the back though so if i have some leftover tickets after i ride everything else i'll come back and try it in the back but it was very smooth that's the most surprising thing about it that i didn't expect i expected it to be pretty rough and jank since it's pretty old uh it's an ace coaster landmark as i'm sure you guys saw but um yeah it was a very smooth ride i really enjoyed it a lot it's definitely interesting. It doesn't start with a full drop. It kind of has a mini drop into the first like hill, I guess, which is technically like the first drop. But anyway, um, this park has like these two coasters here, this and Wildcat, that are like here at this park only, but they also get traveling fair coasters. I know it's a debate in the coaster community whether you should count like traveling coasters as a credit or not. I do, because I think if you get it, if you're um, going to a fair and getting on a coaster and you ride a coaster, that counts obviously as having been on one. So most people would say there's maybe only two credits here, but I would personally say I think there's five because I think they have three smaller traveling ones. So anyway, I don't know what's up next, but we're just going to 
do all the coasters now, and then I think I want to hit Zipper, maybe a couple other flats, and then probably Classic Coaster after that. So anyway, I'll see you guys once we get to the next ride. All right, guys, looks like up next is the Schwarzkopf Wildcat, fittingly named Wildcat. Never ridden one of these models before, so I'm excited to try it. I'll see you guys afterwards. most part but those two helixes on the exits just freaking are so jank like they just slam you to the side overall though i enjoyed it there was a couple little airtime moments on the big drops at the beginning but nothing too like crazy airtime wise but the turns really hit differently anyway there's a little uh, kitty coast over here there's a couple of them here this one is just called dragon wagon so um i'm gonna get on it get the credit see you guys after that while i lied they're pulling cedar fair shenanigans they got a max height, so not going to be getting on this one today, but that's all right. All right, guys, here behind me, we have yet another coaster that I can't ride. It's okay. Like, they're just little kitty rides. Um, we're 0 for 2 so far, though. There's one more. It's a wacky worm. Um, probably won't let me on that either, but I'm still going to just go check it out real quick. And then after that, I'm going to get some fair food because I haven't eaten anything yet, and fair food is good. So, yeah, I'll go check out the wacky worm, see if I can at least get on that, but... It's all right, if not, I'll just use my tickets for Zipper and for Classic Coaster, because those are the two best rides here, so, yeah. All right, guys, I'm on the Wacky Worm. They let me on, so, getting the credit. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Look at these airtime mills, crazy airtime. <laughs> Here's the one drop coming up. the credit. 
All right, got the white girl credit. Absolutely no shame in it. I get all the credits that I can. Um, didn't get to ride the other two kitties, but at least I got on that one. So anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go find some food now. See you guys once I find something good to eat. All right, guys, we got some Al Pastor tacos. I've already had one and it's very good. So I'm gonna finish these off. I'll see you guys after, super delicious. All right, as I said before, tacos are great. Anyway, headed back to Classic Coaster because so far it's the best ride today and I need to try it in the back. I got it in the front early this morning and it's probably a little bit more warmed up now. So curious to see if it's better in the back. I will see you guys once we get on. Just ended up getting two more rides on Classic Coaster, so a total of three in a row. The one you guys saw in the back with that violent ejector, and then two more. Another one in the back, and it's kind of raining right now too, so I got uh, rain rides, and then one more towards the front. I will say when you come here, definitely ride it in the back, like if you only have one ride, because from front to back is a nine day difference. In the front, there's pretty much no air time. It's a little smooth though, but in the back, there's those two violent pops. Um, right here on the turnaround and right here on this little airtime hill. Those are the two insane airtime pops on this ride. So definitely brace yourself for it because there's only buzz bars and even the rows that have seatbelts because some do and some don't. It's kind of weird. But even the ones that do have seatbelts, they're super loose. So you just get tossed. Anyway, um, I only have like 30 tickets or something left. So I'm going to go get on zipper and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Probably going to grab something else to eat and then head out. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. <clears throat> About to get on zipper, but um, stopped and grabbed some funnel cake and it's very good. If you guys haven't tried it before, definitely try it next time you go to a fair. Super good stuff. All right, finally here on Zipper. Destroyed that funnel cake, it was so good. Now it's time for my favorite flat ride, here we go. Oh crap, oh boy, whoa! <laughs> oh, I haven't ridden one of these in years. Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy. We need to get a flip in here soon. Oh crap, here we go. Whoa! Oh man. Whoa! Love getting whipped over the top. Ah, oh, so much fun. Whoa! Oh man, such a good flat ride. Whoa! Whee! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! 
That's so fun! Oh! Oh! oh. See, when it starts going crazy like that. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that's when it's good. Whoa! Woohoo! Oh, boy. Oh, man. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my gosh! Oh, wow. What a freaking ride. And we're still rocking. <laughs> well, it's come to a stop. Oh man, that is so much fun. That is so much fun. All right, well, as you guys just saw, Zipper was a ton of fun. Definitely the best flat ride out there, especially when you get yanked over the top and get two or three flips in a row. It's just such a good time. A lot of the rides here do require you to have two people. So I've gotten lucky both on um, Wildcat and on Zipper. I was able to find someone to ride with me. But yeah, just keep that in mind when you're coming here. If you want to ride those rides, you're going to have to have someone with you. But yeah, tons of fun. Um, that was my last ride for the day. I am I only had like 10 tickets left or whatever. I gave the rest of my tickets to the person who rode with me. But um, it's been a great day. Been able to get awesome footage. And it's been drizzling a little, but the weather hasn't been terrible. But anyway, I'm going to head out to my truck because my phone's about to die. And I'll see you guys out there. All right, y'all. Chilling in my truck here after a nice little over five hours spent at the fair. It was a fun day. Got four rides on Classic Coaster, one ride on Wildcat, and also a ride on the Wacky Worm. So three credits. Obviously missed the other two kitties because they wouldn't let me on. And then as far as flats, I think the only flat ride rode, uh, was a zipper just because all the rides had really long lines today. And I also wasn't really able to get the unlimited wristband. Like I said, they weren't selling it, so I just bought tickets. I spent like 60 bucks on tickets and I was able to ride everything I wanted to. And then I had a little left over at the end, but just like I said, I gave my last like 10 tickets or whatever to the person who rode zipper with me. But yeah, I had some awesome tacos, some really good funnel cake. It was a fun day, man. It's a shame that this fair is only open like two or three weeks a year because it's an awesome fair. Um, if you guys are ever here when it's open or if you want to plan to come look online when it's gonna be open next year because it's a fun time for sure it's definitely worth it just for classic coaster alone that ride is absolutely ridiculous but anyway that wraps up this little mini trip through Oregon and Washington um, I had a fun time at all these parks I've been through through the past couple days and probably a couple weeks for you guys as far as uploads are concerned but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video I really hope you did enjoy if you're looking forward to new content like this or have not subscribed yet please make sure you do subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and that's about it, guys. I will see you guys next time.